Okay, so I want to do a video really quickly on why I quit Cubit Fashion. It's going to be a short video, I hope, unless I ramble on or start ranting. <clears throat> I loved Cubit Fashion. I played for about four years. Daily player, even on my wedding day, before I was getting ready, I was doing Cubit Fashion. Um, so daily player for four years, loved, loved the game. It was just a great way to express style on the daily challenges if you didn't want to follow exactly what rules they put, or you could um, dress up a model on the side so like it didn't have to be a part of any challenge and you could really experiment with looks, um, different hairs, makeups, um, outfits, just whatever you wanted to do and I loved it. And a part of me still loves it. A part of me misses it. But when something's been a part of your life every day for four years, you're going to miss it. And I made some friends on there that happened to be friends on Facebook as well afterwards. Who I haven't spoke to since I left Covet. And that's sad because we did used to have a chat and a laugh um, in the Covet fashion house. But the point of this video, why I quit Covet. Aside from the daily challenges, which were free to do, they made it impossible, unless you had a ton of Covet cash saved up, to do any other challenges. Because there were always guidelines on all their other challenges for what items you have to use. So certain set items you have to include in your look. And they were always too expensive. And like I said, unless you had a ton of covered cash saved, you would have to spend real money, your own money, on the game to get those items. And for what? It's a game. And it took me a really long time to realise that because I was so defensive of it before. Because yes, I was spending real money on it. But for what? It's a game. It's nothing tangible. It's nothing that you're spending money on that you can hold in your hands and go, wow, I'm really glad I bought that. It's a game. End of. But they got too expensive, just absolutely ridiculous challenges. And it was causing arguments. It was causing arguments. It was causing arguments for me. It was causing arguments with my husband. Because... I was spending money off my card, I was spending money on my phone bill, I think at my worst in a month, and this was about three years ago I did this, it was probably the worst one I ever did with Covet Fashion, I wanted to enter every single style challenge that came up, so I was doing every single style challenge that came up, and I was putting it all on my phone bill, and I racked up a £300 phone bill on my mobile phone contract in a month thanks to Covet Fashion. Because that's how addictive the game got and that's how badly I wanted to play and how badly I wanted to enter all of these challenges. And like I said, yeah, part of me does miss it. Because it was a part of my life for every day, for so long, it was a part of my routine. Wake up, do everything else I gotta do, take care of the dogs, come back, sit down, play Covet Fashion. People on Facebook are selling their Covet Fashion accounts when they don't want them anymore. But they're trying to make back the money they've spent on them, clearly, because they are selling them for like £100, £150. Someone even had one on there for like £300. I just wanted rid of mine. I sold it for 25 quid. Gone like that. Level 35 account, almost level 36. Had a lot of Covet cash on it because I was still doing daily challenges. I just wasn't spending anything. Which meant I wasn't keeping with the season, I wasn't keeping with the style, um, I was just dressing them in anything. So the next person that had it had a load of covered cash. Um, I was the head of my fashion house. Because the person that was in charge of it originally left it to me because I was the only pers other person there that had been in the house as long as she had. Or almost as long as she had. I gave all that up because it got too expensive. Covet ruined their game. They ruined it. It used to be so much fun. But they ruined it. And more and more people are starting to realise that because the more and more I looked online around the time I sold my account, and we're talking about a month, a month or so ago,
more and more people were complaining that it was getting expensive. More and more people were saying, I can't do this anymore. I, I'm getting rid of my account. I'm shutting it down. A lot of people aren't even bothering selling their accounts. They're just closing them down, deleting them. That's it. Done. I didn't want all my work to go to waste. That's why I sold mine. Um, and 25 quid's 25 quid at the end of the day. I was never going to make back everything I ever spent on cover. Ever. Because you can't. But like I said, it was spent on nothing. It wasn't spent on anything tangible. You know? So yeah. That's why I left Covet. Too expensive. Waste of time. Waste of money. And they ruined it. They just completely ruined it. To anybody watching this that still plays Covet, if you're spending real money, my advice would be get rid of the app. Just get rid of Covet, because it's not worth the real money you're spending on it. Believe me. I look back now and I think, God, I was stupid. How stupid can you be to rack up a £300 phone bill on one game in a month? That's what I want to know. This stupid, obviously. So yeah, that's why I quit Covet, that's why I left, and that's why I'm never going back, even though I miss it like crazy. I am never going back. Because it's ridiculous now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Um, and yeah, like I said, to anybody out there still playing cover, good luck. You're going to need it.